All right, it's time to finish this up. Go on back to the place and get everything done. But first, I need to have a chat with you. And by chat, I mean stab. Have you heard about our new stabbing timeshare? Well, you're about to. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Stop it. And ow. Ow. Damn, these guys are actually good. Ow. Ow. You and all your friends decided to join in on this. Okay, come on. Stop. Ow. Stop blocking me. Okay. There. Now I can get rid of you. <laughs> Thank God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. Okay, look at the map, and up there. And that'll be the last citizen group I have to save. Why am I do- oh, right. I need people to be in my way if I have people chasing me. Why are these people such idiots every time I save them? Okay, just walk away, Altair. Just walk away. No need to get pissy. Oh, hey, ladder. And up we go. And over here. we. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Oh, I think it twisted my ankle and I'm going to run on it anyways. Oh, well, it's good for you. Let's see. Oh, wow, these guys are out in the open, too. Huh. Well, I'll fix that. Oh, stabbing timeshare. Wow. You guys were just not paying attention. Oh, well. Oh, you wanted to join in, huh? Okay. Ow! Stop it. Ow! Ow! Seriously. Thank okay, you, lady. Thank you. I'll find a way to repay this kindness I swear. Good. All right. It's the last of them. Now I can go and talk to the guild leader. Or whatever the heck he calls himself over here. And I'll just wander past. No need to pull that sword out. No need at all. Alright. Just go across the rooftops because for some odd reason they decided not to have a door. Gotta go through the dang roof. All right, there we are, and down we go. Ow! I swear he makes that hard to do on purpose. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof! If you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go.
Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Blinding light. All right. Time to go kill a man. It's been so long since I've... Well, it's been like 30 minutes, but, you know. It's been so long since I've done a contract killing. And felt good about it. Oh, well. Come see what I have to offer. Everything's new. Ow! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh, that hurt! You don't understand. I have nothing. I have everything you'll ever need. All right, up we go. Come on, Altair. And up. Oh, so easy. I make it look so e ah. Ow. Okay, there's. Wait. I just see a flag. I did. Well, just yoink that on my way. No way I can get up there. Hup. Okay, hup. And one more hup. Oh, I missed. Now I can get up this way. Let's see. Oh, lucky me. Alright, time to drop down. Now, blend with the crowd. Not much of a crowd to blend with. There he is. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much. Okay, hide behind the tree. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Okay. This guy is going to royally deserve the stabbing I'm about to deliver. Don't treat anyone like that. Not even your enemies. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's right. Don't pay any attention to me. Just a scholar. Good night. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then. Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. 
You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. What the hell was he talking about? Okay, time to run! Guards are definitely after me. Must run. Go right. Uh, continue going right. Which way out of this place? Um, let's see. Left up ahead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look! <laughs> to make my way carefully back to the uh, Assassin's Guild Hall. Oh! Oh! Don't do that again, Altair. That's being stupid. Alright. Um, which way? Which way? Bro, crud. At least he didn't see me for long. You know, going on the ground might actually be safer. Oh well. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is the way. I recognize- Oh! Cool! Oh. 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 oh! I'm just going to walk for a minute. Or not. Oh, my feet hurt. Those guards will chase me if I do anything stupid. So I better not do anything stupid. Oh, man. Okay, am I being spotted? No. Time to go up the ladder. And over this way. The way I was gonna go. Alright. Um, yeah. That way up and then go right and yeah <laughs> no one could have made that jump but me okay one more there it is I am home free all right just gotta check oh never mind I'm good let's go talk to him See what's up. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright, now to talk to Al Malam. Alright. Ow! Stupid lights. Who's up Sturgo and its obsession with white? Uh, finally. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Jerk. I swear, why is he always such a jerk? So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. 
I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. All right. Take a look at her inbox. Let's see. Uh huh. John Reminder. Yada yada. All right, this one. Access key. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's odd. Aren't you tired? Oh well, I guess I'll turn in. <sighs> I'm kind of sleepy, anyways. <sighs> Man, I can't even change my clothes. Okay, nighty night. Ah, uh, sleep on the covers. Ah. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric just as stupid. And your point is? Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. 
I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Yes, we are. down, please. Well, uh, time for the day's work. Oh, I hope it's not blinding this time. Alright. And, oh god, it's blinding. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Got some of my abilities back. I've got a new weapon back. It's nice to be me. The short blade is back where it belongs. Could have sworn I saw a flag over here at some point. No. No. Alright, no flag. Maybe it was over here. No, no, there's no flag over here. Am I seeing things? Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Still a noob. Of a master. And they call me a novice. Is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Well, if this is what it takes to earn back my rank, I suppose I have no choice. Now I know I saw something around here. Where or oh, where was it? Is it over here? No. I'm still not seeing anything. I need to stop those late night hookah sessions. I'm starting to mess with my mind. Let nothing distract you. I could have sworn I saw something. Oh well, screw it. I mean, it's not like there... There's a flag right there. That must have been what I seen. Except it's way the hell out of here and out of my way, and the only time I would have seen it would have been during the siege. Eh, whatever. At least there's no one here to mess around with me while I leave. Is there anything over here? No? Alright. Now these guards are freaking blind to the flags around them. I guess that's good. I still don't get why 
we we don't like using flags because no one owns land. I mean, you, you can't own the earth. But yet I keep seeing assassin flags all around Masaya. Whoever put them up needs to be found out and taught the error of their ways. I mean, I'm sure they're just misguided. You know, they want to stake out, hey, this is Masayef, this belongs to the assassins. Well, yeah, technically, Masayef belongs to us, but not the land. This land is free to everyone. We won't always be here. We might move someday. So, there's no permanence in human settlements, so there's no reason why we should have flags there. Besides, it's a form of advertising that we just don't need. I mean, far be it from me to question stuff like flags, but... When we're a secretive organization, we really shouldn't be dealing with things like advertising our presence in an area. Oh well. Time to go to the next place. Let's see, where should that be? Oh well, I'll figure it out when I get there. <laughs>